Back in the year 2002, several articles appeared claiming that Michael Steele had plans of escaping from prison. The headline, Ret Escape, from the Evening Echo, from the 28th of February 2002. One of the men jailed to the resident Range Rover murders has been transferred to another prison after a plan of an airfield was found in his cell. Engineer Michael Steele is now at high security Whitemoor Prison following the discovery, but is demanding a judicial review of the decision, claiming the document was sent from a pal planning to visit him. The incident related to a letter sent to Steele in 1998 whilst he was serving a life sentence at Full Sutton Prison near York. Steele, 57, and father of two Jack Worms were jailed for the gangland murders at the Old Bailey in January 1998, following a four-month trial. The pair were jailed for a minimum of 15 years for the murder of Tate, 38-year-old Tucker, and Rolf, 26, from Chatton 100. But sentences were later extended to 25 years. Michael Steele's wife, Jackie, said the document was sent to Mickey by a friend who was planning to visit him in prison and was going to fly up there with me. The airfield is close to Full Sutton Prison and has a registered runway. The letter was sent in 1998 and was vetted by prison officers and passed to my husband. Then, three years later, the authorities decided to search his cell and seize the plan and letter, claiming it was a sketch of the prison. It was a pack of lies and another chance to set him up. Michael was moved almost straight away, which he's furious about. There is no way he was planning to escape and he has now launched legal action against the prison. He is getting a little bit tired of all these false accusations. We only found out two weeks ago that the document in question was in fact the airfield plan. In hindsight, it was a little bit silly for his friend to send him such a letter, but the prison authorities knew about it, didn't complain at the time. It's just not fair. The transfer means both men are now at the same prison. We've still hold up in the extra high security wing and Worms in the enhanced high security wing. According to the sources, the incident in November came hours after mechanic Worms launched a bid to have a computer in his cell. Worms took his plea to a high court judge but was turned down as prison officers raided steel cell in Full Sutton Prison, York. John Worms, who has led a highly publicised campaign to clear his brother's name, said, Prison officers raided Mickey's cell and claimed he had found sketches of full certain prison amongst some of his legal documents. As this was going on, Jack was appealing to the High Court judge via a satellite link from prison to be allowed to use a computer in his cell. The request was turned down and it seems very strange that at the same time these papers were found. The prison authorities claimed Mickey had these drawings because he was thinking of breaking out and he was moved straight away. At the time, we believe these papers were planted in the cell to set Mickey up. There is no way he was thinking of doing such a crazy thing. Ironically, both Jack and Mickey are at Whitemore now, although they don't see each other. A prison service spokesman said, We cannot comment on individual cases. Generally, the regime works in such a way that the possibility of escape is remote and everything is done to prevent this happening. Whenever there is a case of a possible escape, an investigation is always held. Now, when it came to the trial of Michael Steele, he admitted he was no stranger to the criminal courts. His defence lawyer, Graham Parkins QC, asked, is it true you content for the jury to know about your past? He replied, I would like the jury to know everything there is to know about me. Mr. Parkins then read out his long list of previous convictions. In March of 1964, Mick was sent to prison for 12 months for stealing property and driving whilst disqualified. And then in 1966, he was sent to prison for six months for stealing property and an assault causing actual bodily harm. In June of the same year, a 12-month conditional discharge for stealing a vehicle. Two years later, in 1968, he was fined £15 for possession of an inoffensive weapon. It was a motorcycle chain. Then in February 1969, Mick got an 18-month jail term suspended for three years for trying to cheat customs 
of oil duty. In March 1972, he was suspended to five years in prison for a theft from a motor vehicle. In February 1980, Mick was suspended for a sentence of six months for theft and then in September of the same year, he was sent to jail for 12 months for stealing tyres and wheels and being, being a breach of a suspended sentence. And then in 1986, he got a one-year conditional discharge from criminal damage and then, in June of 1990, Mick was sentenced to nine years in prison for importing 300 kilos of cannabis in a light aircraft. Steele, a highly experienced pilot, was also hand ordered to hand over to customs 120,000, half his former marital home, 15,000 from his mum's home, his 33-foot motor cruiser, his aircraft and his land cruiser.